Hello everybody. Uh, today I will be talking about um, the difference between uh, dioxynucleotide triphosphate and dedioxynucleotide triphosphate. Uh, so I want to just a little bit talk about, um, for example, some of you m may not know, for example, what are the nucleotides. So nucleotides as I mentioned our, in our previous videos, is are, for example, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and adenine. So these are the nucleotides, and these are the basic structural uh, units of DNA. DNA. Okay? There are five nucleotides. And the other one is called a uracil. And this uracil comes in when we are talking about RNA. So I'm just kind of mentioning, but we are not talking about right now RNA. So so we will be just focusing on guanine, cytosine, thymine, and adenine. So when it comes to nucleotides, they are they are divided into DNTB and DDNTB. So D oxynucleotide triphosphate and D dioxynucleotide triphosphate and this this if we understand this we can understand Sengar Sengar sequencing okay the reason why we are we are going to understand is to is to understand Sengar sequencing method so before we deep into uh, this topic uh, I want to just talk about what are they so for example if we take for example this normal one the structure is oxygen prime phosphate oxygen and oxygen the structure is like this just kind of drawing okay usually they have phosphate backbone so this is the structure of each base pair of DNA now what I'm drawing is the structure of one base pair, okay? One base pair. So from here, I don't have space, but there's there's a there's a structure, and this structure is such like this, okay? And this structure is very, very important because it's where the information comes from, okay? So these are hydrogens. And here, here there is hydroxyl group, okay? Hydroxyl group. And here is three hydrogen and two hydrogen, okay? Another hydrogen, another hydrogen, and this one is hydrogen. If it were is hydrogen, and this is the base pair. As I mentioned, the whole thing is base pair. So when we have a structure like this, this is this is called dioxy nucleotide. Okay, dioxy nucleotide. Oh, it's abbreviated D N T B. Because it has deoxy, nucleotide, and triphosphate. One, two, three. Okay. The reason why they, they are saying because deoxy and nucleotide and triphosphate, because there are three phosphates, okay? So you get now. This is the normal structure. And let me go to the other page, okay? Sorry. I don't know. Nice pen. So what is the purpose? What is the what is the benefit or purpose of what is the purpose of the of the OH group? Okay, that's the question. Okay, the main purpose of this OH group is used to form what so called a phosphor. I think you heard that phosphor diester bone okay 
if we when we have all a this OH group between each base pair, for example, maybe adenine, guanine. So this OH group makes this phosph uh, it makes a this one this one is phospho phosphodiester bond phospho diester bond. So if we don't have this hydroxide group, we cannot make, for example, phosphodiester bond. And the phosphodiester bond would make it and make it possible of the DNA elongation, okay? Elongation. Because DNA makes elongation, so it, it becomes long. Because each base bear, adenine, guanine, for example, adenine, guanine, cysatine, thymine. So, so we get, for example, we get, for example, a structure like this. This is, this is double stranded, okay? So this uh, OH group, it, it what is what makes this DNA elongation, okay? So without this one, we cannot have DNA formation or DNA elongation, okay? So that is the purpose of this OH group. So let us come to the other one. The other one is DD, as I mentioned, DD, DD, NTB, okay? So as you can see, this one is D dioxy, D dioxy, D dioxy nucleotide tri triphosphate. Okay. So this one, it's same thing. Same thing. For example, if I just repeat the the structure is. Same thing, same thing. The, the diff, I'm just kind of show you the difference, okay? So the difference comes here. The difference comes here, okay? So we can see the difference. So this is, this is hydrogen, hydrogen three and hydrogen two. Uh, this hydrogen, this hydrogen and this OH. And this is the hydrogen. This one is base pair. So say, for example, maybe it's guanine or thymine, okay? So here, now there's only oxygen. There is no hydrogen. Because we, we don't have any, we don't have right now hydrogen. So the reason why, now it's called it DDNTB, okay? Because we do not, we do not have any hydrogen, okay? So now we don't have hydroxyl group so what happens is for example if if this was adenine if we add guanine there will not be any elongation okay no elongation so so the elongation elongation will not be possible will not be possible so it will stop because there is no there is no hydrogen uh hydrogen element so there will not be any phosphodiester bond because so so it will be impossible if i just make it short so the difference is that so uh for example uh, we will be just talking about in detail is in uh, how this information will be helpful when we will be talking about uh singar sequencing because we 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 said in earlier in our videos that Singar uh, sequencing is called gene termination. Gene termination. That's where I'm just kind of trying to explain. The reason why it's called gene termination because the four the four base pairs that we will again have in our in our uh, in our uh, in our field in our container in, our, in each container they will not have any hydroxyl group. So what what will happen? The DNA elongation will stop. Will it will, will it stop automatically? So I will be talking about in details in, in our next video. So thank you for watching.